A new exhibition in Bonn shows contemporary works from private collections. We went to have a look and find out what kind of people collect art. Curious? That's the name of the exhibition in Bonn at the Bundeskunsthalle, or Art and Exhibition Hall of the Federal Republic of Germany. It provides insights into a fascinating species, the collector. Fifteen of them are showing their favorite pieces. So who are these people who spend more on art than some museums do? We've tried to analyze them and have come up with the following typology. Type 1, the hunter. For example, Paul Mentz. He's showing works by the young French painter Mathieu Messier. Paul Mentz ran a gallery for a long time. Then he came down with hunting fever. He no longer wanted to sell art, but to possess it. Curiosity is the driving force, of course. You can imagine there's not much thrill in going after what everyone agrees about. You can leave that to those who have it. But to be part of the process of decision-making requires effort and exertion, and that always means new things. Type 2, the educator. For example, Wilhelm Schurmann. Schurmann has always been happy to lend works from his collection to museums. He says private collecting can never replace the work that museums do. But especially in times when museums are short of funds, private collectors have to bridge the gap and buy contemporary art. Art that's not seen has no relevance as art. It's just material lying around in a warehouse. You have to appreciate that we wouldn't hang a work like Nazi milk by general idea in our living room. I wouldn't want to have to live with it every day. That's one of the big differences between private collectors and museums. But I was very keen on owning it. Schurmann is especially interested in art with a political message, even if it's not always easy to live with but it is a mirror of our society. Type three in our typology of art collectors is the mystery monger. Some collectors want to remain anonymous, like the married couple that owns the collection Kiko. Only a few insiders know who they are. That kind of modesty is rare, since collecting art is considered a status symbol and very chic. That brings us to type four, the ostentatious one. For example, Thomas Ulbrich, anything but modest. He will soon be opening his own museum in Berlin. He collects according to motif, not name. He's fascinated by life, love, and death. But just owning the pieces isn't enough. If you are lucky enough to be in a position to collect at all, you have this genetic defect of wanting and having to collect. Then it's important to reach the general public, because I want to convey something about myself via the works, and I want to bring art closer to people with all the pros and cons. They can think what they want about various works, but they have to be goaded. That's what I want to achieve. Type 5 is the art aficionada, like Sabina Dumont-Schütte. She's been in love with art since her first purchase. Her favorite genre is concept art, and her whole house is full of it. What's it like living in the midst of art? It's wonderful. And where does she put all her art? Everywhere. Paintings, sculptures, installations, everywhere. Even in the bathroom. I'm a little lazy, but usually I install new works at least once a year, if not more frequently. 
And that was our typology of art collectors, based on those represented at the interesting show at the Bundeskunsthalle in Bonn.